raw images, especially from a Fuji, were hard for me to find a program that actually edited them before, and using Darktable is one of the best free ones that there can be. So let's go through a raw photo that I took down in Florida for this wedding, and I'll show you how I go about editing a photo in Darktable. So you can pause here if you want to to read the uh, things around the sides. It just kind of gives you an idea of how the certain buttons work. However, I'm just going to show you a simple way to just import your photos or your RAWs. Uh, it doesn't really show you any previews of the photos, but if you know which one you're looking for, which I did here because I did some you know, research beforehand of which I wanted to do, so I didn't show anybody's faces, but I wanted to pick this one out because it has the look and it's already set how I want it to, it's properly exposed, so we'll go through on how to do exposure first. So some of these things like contrast and stuff can be done through this. You can do like your dark and your exposure, you adjust the exposure. I did want it a little bit brighter, I mean it's, it's right where it should have been for the exposure to begin with, but I wanted it a little bit brighter. And change the, uh, the blacks in the photo. And this right here actually is something I found a little bit later is that white balance is adjusted twice, which I'll show you that where that one is in a second, which is right here. And you can adjust the temperature there. For whatever reason, they have two for this. So I guess if you don't want this one, you could turn off this module and use the other, but this one seems to work just fine for me. And I think it makes slightly um, more fine adjustments. And then here we're just talking about cropping. So there's a lot of things where you have, might be off just slightly from having the horizon look straight across, which is what I want to have so it doesn't look funky. But uh, if you ever want to do that, you can do it from the rotation there and the cropping here if you wanted to get in closer, which I think I, this one I think I did just a little bit closer on this. And I think we've about got it there. And you also have some color correction, so say you wanted some hues a little bit different or something to be a darker color, um, you can adjust them here. And honestly, I've never seen this one in Lightroom. I used to use Lightroom 5, and this one seems a little bit more in-depth with how it uh, adjusts the colors. And honestly, I like how it does it. And one thing about these files that you create through this, they're XMP files, which is like a side-loaded file where you don't have adjustments to the actual file itself. It's a side-loaded one, so it won't destroy the uh, data in your file that you have currently for the RAW. So that way, whenever you end up exporting this as a JPEG, which is how most people have to view it, it won't look off or the resolution won't be lowered. And here is just the uh, noise reduction, which Honestly, this one's way more in-depth than the Lightroom one ever was, so you can actually adjust specific areas and they'll either become softer or lighter depending on what you've got. So there's the beginning, here's the after. I think it's come out pretty good so far, so we're going to go ahead and try to export this. And in here in the export settings, you do that from light table. And you'll do that right here where you'll go find whatever file folder you're doing it in, whatever project it is. And one thing I uh, noticed on here, they have JPEG 2 and JPEG. You'll want to choose JPEG because JPEG 2 isn't necessarily support on every system. And you can adjust the size that the export comes out as. This one was exported as 1280 by 720. And I think that looks fine, at least for this demonstration purposes. You'll know what the size that you need are. Uh, you can even look at the uh, native resolution from the RAW file or your JPEG, if you do JPEG and RAW in your uh, camera. So you can get it to the proper resolution you want it to be at. Especially if you already know the size of the print that you're wanting to make, that'll help a lot uh, with adjusting to whatever size the file should be output as. I hope this helped simplify that process for you and made it a little less overwhelming. That way you can do your first raw photo uh, in Darktable. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to every one of them. And as always, please press the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I appreciate you being here and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh man, the chair.